Hello everybody. First of all, I'm gonna try to do this perspective again. And yes, I absolutely love this shirt. I uh, have been wearing it almost every day since I got it. And yeah, it's wonderful. And it's not a soccer shirt. Um, but still, it's winter, so those long sleeve NHL jerseys I love in winter. Uh, let's talk Premier League today. Uh, when I watched highlights, there wasn't really much that I could pick up on either in Serie A or in um, Premier League from yesterday. Uh, or I should say the action from Saturday. So let's focus on the games today. Um, also, not too much drama, honestly, maybe for a split second there. Um, the first game that I want to talk about is Crystal Palace Chelsea, where Chelsea dominated proceedings, uh, controlled the game most of the time, but did not do much more than needed. Got the 1 0 win thanks to Conte uh, first dropping off and then uh, sprinting into the box and uh, converting a cross in. It was a nicely played goal. Um, I'm just, you know, I think Chelsea is a little bit falling off. They had a great start to the season, but, you know, maybe it's catching up with them. That preparations were not all that great uh, to the season, but all remains to be seen. A lot of games to be played. Um, haven't seen the highlights of Burnley West Ham United. Burnley wins 2 0 there. I know Arnautovic made it back into the team, but that was that. And let's talk about the other two games of the Manchester clubs. Uh, I honestly I have not seen anything live today. I just watched highlights, uh, kind of a little bit binge watching, not really, I mean, but for the 40 minutes watching highlights from today and yesterday, mainly Premier League. Uh, the City game at Southampton. <laughs> was actually only interesting in the first half, similar to Liverpool Arsenal yesterday, um, with City taking a very early lead through David Silva, who has hair again now. I, I know this is so inconsequential, but I always thought it looks uh, weird when he shaves off uh, the hair. Looks better with just a little bit there. And if he has it, have it, you know. If you have hair, show it off. I don't like being bald for uh, baldness sake, um, for some people it looks nice, but I think if your hairline is receding, yes, go all the way. Other than that, I would say, if you hair, show it, my personal opinion. But it has nothing to do with the game. Uh, it was a typical city game, actually, uh, the jersey matchup was not too bad. I don't like a Southampton shirts this uh, year, but the city, but it, they blended well with the city uh, shirt, and actually, the city with the light green socks that fits somehow with the uniform. It was a weird look, but it fits somehow. And actually, the jersey matchup was overall pleasing, I have to say. Uh, so, city, as they always do, they, they control proceedings but don't really get much through. And what happens? Hoiberg, I think it was. Just let me check the results here. Yes. Hoiberg and then uh, makes a wonderful equalizer for Southampton at that moment. They said, oh, oh, maybe they also make now a draw, and Liverpool is really going to get a huge lead. Um, at that point, we're 4 45, they would have a nine point lead uh, over uh, City and Tottenham, which more or less, I'm not saying. Would have handed them a championship, but that was been absolutely huge advantage going in. Um, but no, it was right at the end of the second half that City comes back. I mean, there was a crossing, I think it was by, um, oh, what's his name now? Can't recall him now. Let, let, let me quickly check the. Uh, Sterling, Raheem Sterling. I'm tired. I'm absolutely tired. <laughs> uh, he tries to get a cross in and gets deflected and the goalkeeper cannot save it. And then just uh, before half time, Aguero uh, header in. And it's not 1-1 one, one at halftime, it's 3-1 at halftime. The game is dead. Uh, but Hoiberg still makes a final highlight in getting sent off. 
kind of unnecessarily. But uh, it was attacking that was worth a red card. No doubts about that. And then the other uh, game between Manchester uh, United and Bournemouth was actually not that bad of a game if you look at the um, uh, standings. Where uh, I think Bournemouth is quite close by overall. Well, now they're dropping off uh, a little bit, but you know, Bournemouth had a, had a, a decent season so far. And right from, fr from the get go, uh, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful goal. Marcus Rashford is at the touchline, uh, looking towards the stands, makes a little dance, turns around, uh, <laughs> lets the player. Uh, the defender uh, stands there and then he dribbles past two defenders, makes a cross in that just Pogba uh, the outside of his uh, right foot needs to put in net. Uh, that was the goal of the weekend, I gotta say. Really, absolutely beautiful goal. Uh, and it's all a rash for it. I mean, this was nothing for Pogba. Pogba adds a second and you really gotta say Pogba just needed uh, Mourinho gun. And that's that. So it was 2-0 uh, quickly. Uh, Pogba really asserting himself on Manchester United. You could see he's actually becoming the playmaker. They always wanted, wanted to be. They just needed to have this dude uh, gone. He was uh, running up all the players. Uh, pretty obvious right now. Uh, Rashford gets his goal also before uh, uh, halftime whistle. And just in stoppage time. Uh, Bournemouth puts well back. Uh, yeah, they were a little bit more in the game than the three 0 scoreline showed. So I think it was uh, just to have that goal in the second half. Um, I think Bournemouth should have gotten a penalty uh, when Bayi high foot. I mean, it was a kung fu kick to get the ball hits the Bournemouth attacker or Bournemouth player uh, in the I think in the upper. Uh, chest area, referee doesn't give a thing. There was no penalty, there was no red card. I think um, if VAR was in place, that's red and that's a, and that's a penalty. Shortly after, Lukaku makes it 4 1, slide of side position again. Here, VAR would have been needed. Uh, I said yesterday uh, that in Italy, with the Juventus game, VAR was a little bit of a hindrance, and yes. Um, Sometimes the Italian refs are a little bit too pedantic uh, using, using VAR, but I think for this Manchester United game, uh, it would have helped. And I honestly got to got, got say, uh, for most of the time, Italy VAR is working really, really well. I'm actually quite impressed how well it works there. So it is 4 1, and then Bayi makes a tackle and finally gets sent off. Uh, very well deserved as well. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Really, really good start to his Manchester United career as coach. Um, well, he didn't play anyone uh, really great, but um, if you get Pogba back, you're about to, but some good stuff is about to happen. Well, let's look quickly at the standings. Uh, thanks to City winning, uh, we have only a seven point lead for Liverpool, and everything points to January 3rd. Uh, City versus Liverpool and uh, probably that's the next time when I make a video. I know there will be some games on the first and there will be some games on the second, but I honestly gotta say I probably will keep make a big round of video uh, after that game because that's where everything is pointing to right now. Liverpool has a seven point lead. If they manage a win and have eight wins in a row, if they manage a win against City, I think that's the first match ball and then they will probably get the championship. Uh, it's almost a must win for City, I have to say. A draw keeps them in contention and hoping that, that Liverpool hits some, bad, hits some uh, bad form. But if you look at the numbers, I mean, Liverpool 48 goals scored, 8 conceded. Yes, City scored more goals, but they have 16 conceded. Um, you can clearly see in defence, Liverpool is really, really, really strong. Tottenham is now at 45 points, uh, Chelsea 43. So that rounds out kind of the top four for the Champions League. Arsenal lost ground thanks to that loss to uh, Liverpool and Manchester United is coming closer to 35. 
think it will be hard for United to challenge for fourth spot. Uh, Wolves with their big win uh, in seventh, Leicester 28, uh, they lost. Watford also 28, uh, leapfrogging Everton. 27, West Ham going down as well, 27. Then Bournemouth 26, Brighton 25, Palace 19, uh, Newcastle 18, Cardiff 18, Southampton 15. Cardiff and Southampton uh, flip flop now. And then the last three is Burnley, who actually got a win 15, Fulham 14, Huddersfield 10. Okay, let's see how it goes. Well, I hope you also enjoyed the top 10 jersey video that I posted yesterday evening and there will be one last top 10 video for the year, top 10 moments. Hope you will enjoy that one too. And as I say in that one, I'm gonna take a break. I will make some match review videos, but I think I will give myself a few days now uh, to focus on other things. And uh, we'll hear each other the latest January 4th one. Let me know what you thought about all the games. Uh, subscribe to my channel right around here. Also check out the playlists that I've posted here and videos. And um, talk to you soon.